Hello again. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to draw this model in both 2D and 3D in less than 10 minutes. Please remember that there's always more than one way of drawing anything. My methods may seem unusual, but it has worked for me for the past 20 years, so please stay tuned in. What you are looking at now is my 2D drawing and solid model of the object. If you look at the icon in the lower left corner of the screen, you can tell that the drawings being displayed are in paper space because a small right triangle is shown. The first thing to do is to erase the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings have disappeared from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get back into model space, I will now click the model button. With that accomplished, uh, notice that both drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now I will erase both drawings from model space so that I'll have the room to redraw both the solid and the 2D drawing. Now that the screen is blank, I'll make the 2D drawing. I'll type L, enter. I'll pick a point. With ortho on, type 7, enter. Move the mouse down. Type 4.75, enter. Move the mouse to the left. 7, enter. Move the mouse up. C to close. To repeat the command, I'll L enter. Draw a line from the midpoint here. To the midpoint here. Enter. Repeat the command or align from midpoint here to the midpoint there. Enter. I'm going to type CO enter to copy and I'm going to copy uh, these lines. Pick a base point and move the mouse down. Enter going to use the offset command O enter 1.5 enter select the horizontal up enter twice to so repeat the command now I'll type 3 enter enter twice I'll type 4.5 enter Escape. I'm going to type F for fillet and the radius is zero. That means I can select these two lines here and create a right angle. Enter. Select these two lines. Enter. These two. And the last pair. The 2D drawing is complete except for the dimensions, but I'll put them in later. I'm going to create this solid by using the rectangle command and tracing over the large rectangle, the small one, and a small one here. And then I'm going to move them to the right. Also, I put the new copies on a layer called solid, which is why they became red. It'll be easier to distinguish them from the rest of the drawing. Now I'll switch to the southeast isometric view 
and extrude the new copies. I'm going to extrude, so E, X, T, Enter. I'll select the largest rectangle and type 1.5. Enter. one point five enter I think also I'll switch back to the 3d uh, the wireframe I'll type ext again and extrude this piece that will be four and a half minus one and a half so I'm going to extrude that three inches finally I'll repeat the command and extrude the smallest rectangle, which is three minus one and a half. So I'll extrude it one and a half inches. Now what we have to do is move them one on top of each other. So this one goes over here. Move the small one. goes over here and we can join them all together with AutoCAD's union command and also I'm going to change the layer I'm going to put the, go back to the properties and I'm going to put them on layer which I call solid and just to see what it looks like, I'll shade it. Now what I want to do is to go back to the plan or top view and redimension the 2D drawing. In order to preserve time, I dimension the drawing because I don't want the video to exceed 10 minutes. Having finished constructing the 2D solid model and dimensioning of the object, I want to get back to paper space so as to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click the Layout 1 button. As you can now see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll type M view Enter and select two diagonal points to create the larger and smaller viewports. Now double click inside the smaller viewport and switch to southeast isometric view. Then we can pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. To get back to paper space, remember to double click outside the small viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one. Even though individual viewports can be set to different scales, you set the scale of the large viewport by clicking the properties button. The standard scale is found under miscellaneous and that is where you set the scale. Once the scale is set you double click inside the large viewport to gain access then pan so only the 2D drawing is visible in the large viewport. To accomplish this it's sometimes necessary to move the solid. Then you want to double click outside the large viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we go back into the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed following these instructions and want to make more solids, you can search YouTube guide YouTube under MD Guide for more tutorials or email me. Thank you for watching.